Hare Krishna. Happy New Year. Yeah. Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Sri Makte Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nati Nami Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauda Vani Pachadine Near is a sa Sunya Vani. E pasya tiare su tari ne he Krishna Say he tanya Prabhu Nitya Nanda Sriya Dreta Gadada Darsi Vasadi Ghor Bhakta Vrinda Dreta Hi, sweet Krishna, say he tongue, Babu Nitta, Nanda, the sweet Dwaita, gathered up the Sivasad, Gorbata, Vrinda, Hansi. Gadadadar Sivasadi. <laughs> Ghor Bhakt Vrinda Jai Sri Jai Jai Tanya Nityananda Ghor Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 
Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna 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 Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare 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 Krishna 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Rama Hare Hare Rama Hare 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 Krishna 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 Hare 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 Hey, Ram. Hare, Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Hare. The Tiger Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna 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 Hare 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 
Jaya Jaya Guru Dev Guru Dev Guru Dev Jaya Guru Dev Jaya Jaya Guru Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Gaur Sila Prabhupada Ki Jai Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki Jai Hare Krishna Mahamantra Ki Jai Om Gyanti Mirandasya Gyanajana Salakaya Chaksu Un Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gaurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shrimakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namini Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pacharine Nirvasesa Sunyavari Pastyatya Satarine Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Gadadhar Srivasati Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Mm. So it was uh, somewhat of a decision in a collective way to, uh, again, just briefly, but maybe more in depth to explore the um, the idea of New Year's uh, resolution. It has a very significant part because in Krishna consciousness to make a resolution is really a very regular part of our devotional practice. We resolve to wake up, to chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, to worship the Lord, to associate with and serve devotees. Um, it's, a, it's a mindset that we develop and we carry it along as a day-to-day -day basis. And therefore, practically every day we are making some, we might use the word commitment, to practice devotional activities but not just to practice devotional activities, but to practice them in the best possible way, or within the capacity of our ability to understand and apply the knowledge that is needed for us to practice. So um, when we speak about New Year's resolution, it's actually good in the sense that it has a it helps us to renew something that we already do, but to make it even better. <laughs> to make a commitment that whatever I'm doing in Krishna consciousness, let me do it even better. Or, what am I not doing that should be do I should be doing? Let me make that part of my commitment to make that just as important as something, whatever else I'm doing in Krishna consciousness. So these are from the perspective of the positive. But life is such in such a way that in order to uh, acquiesce or to benefit from the activities of spiritual life, we have to remove certain things 
that will water down, we say, or dilute our, the effectiveness of our activities in spiritual life. So removing means somehow or other uh, becoming introspective and seeing what I what I, I am now that I don't need, I don't want, and I can see that it's simply something that will is impeding my progress in spiritual life. It's making my relationships with Krishna and the devotees less in intensity, in, in, in meaningfulness. So we talk about two aspects of commitment or resolution, you might say. One is the positive, and the other one is to remove the negative. And both are important, but then again, we have to see that, and this is the factor that we always get stuck on, is that when it comes to the time of these uh, opportunities, which are set within the calendar or within a certain time in our life, there's a determination or an enthusiasm that comes along with that, that, yeah, I'm going to do this. <laughs> but then again, we see, as time goes on, there seems to be a, a little bit of a less of an enthusiasm and determination to follow that. And that's the effects of time. Time has a tendency to water down or dilute our enthusiasm. Sometimes we see that at least in my own experience, I see people come forward for initiation and they're just so gleeful, happy. It's like everything in the world to them right then. But then after a couple of years, it's like something different. <laughs> they somehow lose that enthusiasm, that, uh, that experience that they had when they came in such a, what we say, a very, uh, it's new, it's exciting, it's, it's something that is making me really enthusiastic to take part in. But time has a tendency to water that down. So where, what is the formula for avoiding that diluting process that the time element has a tendency to, you know, act upon us? And that, that is renewing the commitment daily. Each day, that commitment has to be renewed, remembering what I made, and then again, thinking in terms of to keep that activity in that same direction in order to fulfill that commitment. So Krishna consciousness is like that. It's not like, just like sometimes, well, people say, well, I'm initiated. I made it to the club. <laughs> I got my name, and I'm a member. <laughs> I even got my card that says I'm a Hare Krishna. You know? <laughs> but, but Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, and of course Srila Prabhupada also said, and initiation means day-to-day -day renewal of that commitment that we made on initiation, to keep that mood of understanding what it means to take on the responsibility. Because responsibility is really the foundation for commitment. We make a commitment and then we become responsible to that commitment. And when, when we become responsible to that commitment, then we can see that that commitment, when it's directed towards Krishna, and that's the, that's the ultimate goal, uh, just gives us more and more of the taste of Krishna consciousness. But then again, we always have to be aware of the time factor and how it has a tendency to renew, not renew, but to take away and renew something else that becomes important in our life. And it tends to push out the... Uh, commitments we made in our spiritual life, or becomes less important. So in order to avoid that, as Prabhupada says, we have to do this daily. I mean, it's not only daily, it's moment to moment, actually. <laughs> 
how, what is my relationship? See, because Krishna consciousness uh, has three main topics to it. We might say the Vedic literatures have three main topics. It's called Sambandha, Abhideya, and Prayojana. Sambandha simply means, it's a very simple definition, it means relationship. What is my relationship with Krishna, with other devotees, with people in general, with the material energy, with my spiritual master, then you can take that category and extend it to d different types of relationships you have. When you know the foundation of that relationship in all of these different categories, you have understood, you're fixed in the, ex the second part, which is called Abhidaya, that is the process of devotional service. That's why the Acharyas always talk about relationships as the foundation for making spiritual bad. What is that relationship? What is the quality of that? What is my commitment in that relationship? <laughs> and how to actually develop that commitment in such a way that I can get the benefit from that relationship. So these are essential principles to understand the direction we're going in. And we want to go. What do we want to do? We want to go back to the spiritual world. We want to be with Krishna. <laughs> that is our goal. Prema Pumartha Mahan. To awaken love for Krishna. And once that love is awakened to its capacity, then the material world no longer exists, even though one may be here. One is no longer here in consciousness, but may be physically here. But one's consciousness is in is in the spiritual world, and then that consciousness in this in the spiritual in the material world, which is spiritual, is the force that brings us to the spiritual world. It's that pure consciousness. And so, to come to that stage means commitment. <laughs> this way, New Year's resolution is an opportunity to reevaluate the commitments we've made and maybe accept other commitments that we need to accept. And that's an individual thing. We all have to decide where we want, what we want to do, and where, how we're going to bring that about, like that. And, um, and that will lead us to success. And you see, and this is, this is a principle of life, it's not just within the confines or in the realms of spiritual life. Anyone who's success, successful at, in the activities they perform, they become committed to a particular goal. Mm -hmm. When they have that goal in mind, then they see what it means to act in such a way that I am bringing that goal closer and closer to, you know, to uh, perfection. In other words, I'm achieving my goal. So what is our goal? We want to develop love for Krishna. That's it. <laughs> and that's our, our goal, because to love Krishna means and the, the living entity's purpose in, in life, our, our purpose in life is love. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone's looking for love, and love is found in different ways, through, in different relationships, but the perfect and complete and the most satisfying, and that love which is in tune with our nature, is to love Krishna. <laughs> And Krishna is all lovable. That's why it's not so bad. <laughs> when you try to make it happen in this world, you have to do some adjustments in your mind to somehow accept that the fact that there's some problems with the object that I love, but we kind of push that aside and just focus on the positive. But with Krishna, you can't find any objections. <laughs> 
he's perfect. He's all. That's why he's named Krishna because he's all attractive. All his qualities, all his activities, and everything he does is done in the perfect and most beautiful way, or in other words, most pleasing way. So to love Krishna is the easiest thing. <laughs> here in our love, in our relationships here, we have to adjust things to kind of like push out those things that are not lovable <laughs> at the same time, continue in that relationship. Uh, but as we have love for Krishna, as that develops, then to love other living entities, it's more natural and easy. Why? Because that love for Krishna extends itself outward to all of the... Because everything is an energy of Krishna. So when you connect with the source, you connect also with the energy in the same way. <laughs> like that. So this is the actual hmm, way to understand what commitment can I make that will bring me closer to that mood of love of God. And you can think about it in different ways. Mm -hmm. And of course the positive, and then of course, as we mentioned, what, do, what, do I, what don't I need that's making my burden in life or my commitment difficult to achieve? <laughs> getting rid of the, what we say, the excess. Uh, which is, means what, is the, what, we, what we are carrying in this material world that we don't need to carry. <laughs> and that's the, the ultimate principle is the false ego. What is that false ego? To identify ourselves with something other than who we actually are. When we know who we are, it's easy. As Lord Chaitanya gave us our our identity, he said, Jivair is Surupai Krishna Nityadas. You only you only have one identity. You are an eternal loving person who has a, a relationship with the Supreme Lord. That is our identity. And the identity indicates our activity. When you know your identity, then you know your acti activity. When you know your activity, then you, know, you can understand where that activity leads to ultimately to Krishna, to love for Krishna, like that. So, how does it play out in a practical sense, in the day-to-day -day life? Then that is based on the principle of sanbandha. What it, in our relationships with Krishna and our relationships with others, it's keeping religious principles and Krishna as the foundation for that relationship. When we keep material principles or material desires as a foundation for the relationship, they may work for a little while. But material energy is always changeable. And those desires and that foundation that sets upon some kind of relationship finds itself changing after time. But when you keep the eternal principle of relationship based on the principle of love and service, then even if there is some difficulty in relationships on this level, it's never something that's significant because then the eternal principle is there and that is the mood of serving Krishna and serving others as a service to Krishna. This is, should be understood. When we serve others, we're also exhibiting our service to Krishna when that service is done in the way that is pleasing and recommended. And what is the highest way to serve another living entity? Is to somehow or other communicate Krishna to them or to bring Krishna into their life in some, in some form or another through kirtan, through philosophy, through um, your personal association, through some activity in devotional service, that, that makes that relationship free from all of the tendencies of the material problems that come. And then when these problems come, they're not problems anymore, they're simply something that comes and goes. We keep that foundation. 
that our relationship with each other is based on our relationship with Krishna. But it won't really develop beyond a certain point unless we increase the quality of our relationship with Krishna. And what does that mean? Is develop more knowledge of Krishna and more uh, awareness of Krishna. Therefore, Prabhupada would say, don't forget Krishna. <laughs> Don't, there's a lot of things you can forget, but don't forget Krishna. <laughs> if we don't, if we always remember Krishna in one form or another, then we are always in the best position to always receive the mercy of Krishna. <laughs> and that's where Krishna comes in, because when we remember Krishna, of course, the intensity of that remembrance is the experience we have in that relationship. But even if that intensity is, what you might say, not much, still the relationship is there. <laughs> because as soon as you remember Krishna, you're with Krishna immediately. And that's called Krishna consciousness. <laughs> and when that remembrance becomes an object of our loving service, then that love naturally develops. And that love will develop more and more when we know more about Krishna. Because there's nothing, you can't find any problems with Krishna. But people do find problems with Krishna. They say, well, you know, he says one thing and he does something else. You know? He says, I won't fight on the battle of Kurukshetra, but he wound up fighting anyway. He tells Radharani he's going to meet her tonight, and he goes with another gopi. So, you know, transcendental cheating. <laughs> but that's what makes the relationship with Krishna so nice. I mean, he, he eats butter, or he steals butter, and he lies when he gets caught. But his lying is a source of great happiness <laughs> for us because he's God. <laughs> he steals the butter and gets blamed for being a thief, but the butter belongs to him anyway. <laughs> Everything about Krishna is wonderful. So, as Prabhupada said, you take a sweet ball, say you have a, you know, you know, we have our... Uh, Lalit Govindo, he likes to make sweets for devotees. He makes these uh, carob-covered sweets that when you look at them, you think, I gotta have one. <laughs> <laughs> and if you think, well, let me, let me bite it on the left side, and maybe it's better if I eat on, from the left side to the right. Another one would say, no, no, let's start from the right side. Another one say, no, let's go from the top down. <laughs> and others would say, no, we'll go from the bottom up. But no matter wh where you start, it's the same. <laughs> so that's Krishna. That's Krishna. Whatever angle of uh, approach you have in Krishna, he re it remains always, as Prabhupada say, sweet. <laughs> So whatever time we have available in our life, we should try to see that we can make so many promises, commitments, goals in our life. But when we try to commit ourselves in a very, what we say, committed way, <laughs> I don't know if I can, that makes sense, commit yourself in a committed way, to doing something, then uh, you'll see. And things happen like that. But then again, you always have the time factor, and which is and works sometimes under the influence of the material energy to uh, water down or to dilute our commitments. So again, we have to be always enthusiastic to renew that commitment every moment, at least every day. So we don't forget. <laughs> and that will, that will, uh, then we start to see, oh yes, now I'm understanding 
you know, the value of these commitments. That's life. <laughs> life means to make a goal and figure out how to get there. <laughs> if we don't have any goal in life, we don't have any life. <laughs> really. That means whatever way the wind blows, that's the way we go. But that's not direction, that's just simply being tossed about by the material energy. When you have a goal and you think how to access that goal in everything you do, Jai Sisi Panchatattva Ki Today I think, that this is my personal experience, at least my personal opinion, that the deities look better than ever. <laughs> Just, just, just that statement alone has has some meaning. Like you've seen God so many times, right? But sometimes he's more God than he is before. <laughs> so does he change? Yes. <laughs> Do you change? Yes. <laughs> he changes more in c connection with how you change than, and then. You changing and then he changes. <laughs> so uh, it's called the more we sh see the, the Lord with devotion, the more we can see the Lord. <laughs> like that. So this New Year's resolution commitment is nice. It's important. And we should do, we should make some kind of vow, some commitment to think what I can do to make my Krishna consciousness stronger, my relationship with Krishna stronger. And that's what we're all about, right? Okay, so... Hmm. Is there any comments or questions? I guess maybe I should ask. It's already January 2nd, so all of our resolutions were made yesterday. <laughs> so, how many of you actually made a resolution or some kind of commitment? How many of you are still thinking about it? <laughs> and how many of you don't care at all? <laughs> Maybe the ones that don't care at all, they have reached perfection already. <laughs> but if we think like that, we're in trouble. <laughs> so we want to, yeah, do because another name for Krishna consciousness is Gupta. Gupta means hidden, but Gupta also also has another means treasure. Krishna consciousness is that hidden treasure that needs to be uncovered. It's hidden. Where is it? It's in your heart, so you don't have to go anywhere to find it. But it's sometimes it's easier to look out than it is to look in, right? We find it's easier to look outside, but it's it's in your heart. And when you're determined to become Krishna consciousness, then you can experience it more within your heart. And when you experience within your heart, you experience it outside. Inside is first and then outside is second. When we first join Krishna consciousness, it's the other way. Everything is outside, and we bring it in. As we bring it in, it becomes part of us. And then as it grows within us, then it reflects itself outside. That's how it goes. And it starts outside, goes inside, and then builds up inside, and is reflected outside like that. 
But if it doesn't build inside what was there in the beginning that was so nice, looks ordinary. And that's the problem. There's nothing ordinary about this process. Everything is super ordinary. In other words, the deities, the holy name, prasadam, the devotees, the temple, the worship, the service, everything is actually coming from the spiritual world. None of it is ordinary. Is our, but our vision can become ordinary. We can see the devotees in an ordinary way. We can see the temple as simply another building. We can see prasadam as simply food. We can see the deity as some, you know, you know, something to look at. <laughs> that's all. Uh, we can see in a mundane way, but that's not seeing. Hmm. So the eyes, premanjritam bhakti vilochanena santasa daiva rideyesha vilokayanti yam shama sundar chintaguna sarupa. Govindam Adi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. When the eyes are decorated with bhakti, with love, then you can see. That's the real vision. This material vision is just a covered vision. It's like trying to look through binoculars when you still have the caps on the outside. <laughs> You know, they have the covers for the thing. You see people looking through the binoculars, but the covers are still on. <laughs> All you see is nothing. <laughs> so that's the mundane vision. <laughs> they keep those material coverings on. So there's two ways. One is the process itself, and the other one is to apply the knowledge in a practical way and understand Instead of seeing the devotees as simply individuals who will have a particular body, see them as, you know, Krishna's parts and parcels who have come together in the same way to have the same goal as someone who is trying to become Krishna conscious. So we, we see we can see the devotees in a mundane way or we can see them in a in a way that is actually correct and that is each and every devotee is a person who can help me in my Krishna consciousness and also an object of my service. Also an object of my service. We see every devotee as an opportunity to serve. We have so many things, so many people to serve. <laughs> right? We don't get tired. But the best way to serve is to somehow inspire others to become more Krishna conscious, not still whatever way that inspiration can come. So, any comments or questions? Yes, uh, again, tell me your name. Mate? Marseille? Marseille? Mar Marcel? Okay. Um. It's French, right? Parlez-vous <laughs> français? Um, thank, thank you for an uh, inspiring lecture. Um, I would just like to um, ask, so you, you mentioned that it is dangerous about the time factor, that time factor um, destroys our enthusiasm. Um, so I would just like to ask, what are um, some signs that um, time factor has already damaged our enthusiasm and how to react um, in such circumstances? When you no longer have that same enthusiasm towards the commitment you made, then that's an indication that the time factor has already moved in. <laughs> yeah. We should not lose that enthusiasm or the enthusiasm leads to the determination which mentioned is should lead to patience. Patience means that in due course of time, if I remain enthusiastic and determined, then in due course of time, the results will come. But if, I'm, if I lose my enthusiasm, or even 
lose the reason why I made these commitments. What was the reason? That's one of the elements of the time factor. And we, the reason why we did something changes. And we don't see the, the same commitment or enthusiasm because our reasons change like that. Hmm. Yeah. So always keep, it, keep that enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is the life of bhakti. <laughs> Thank you. And if you feel that you're losing that enthusiasm, go to your best friend and say, what was that commitment I made? <laughs> and then they can remind you. <laughs> so it's good to tell others of your, the commitments you made also, the resolutions, the promises you made, because they'll help you when you need it. <laughs> Not a secret. <laughs> Anyone else? Yes, Sri Devi. I'm very thankful that uh, you reminded us of how important it is that our commitment is actually our responsibility and. Uh, Keeping our responsibility strengthens our commitment. It goes both ways. Um, on another point that you mentioned that the best way we can serve anyone is to help them become more Krishna conscious, we find many times that we are trying and people don't want to listen. They, they just don't want to listen. What, so, is, what does it say? Don't throw your pearls to swines. <laughs> <laughs> Christian or... Don't preach to the unfaithful. <laughs> hmm. Go, there are millions of souls who want to hear, and hmm. there's, a, there's, a, there's a few that don't want to hear. Or maybe maybe more than a few. But Right. So don't go where you're not welcomed. Right. Yeah, when you see that, then you just move somewhere else. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? V redu, če nihče nima več vprašanja, komentarja, bi se najrepše zahvalila, če nramavli s vami, Hare Krishna. I guess Thank that's the end much. of my lecture. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah, if you allow, Maharaj. <laughs> well, look, well, I have one more thing to say. Okay. All, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. <laughs> I never had a lecture ended in such a nice way. <laughs> it became really easy to end. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. She's, keep um, her on every Sunday. <laughs> it was okay, really? Or it just... Well, you did good, yeah. <laughs> Name of problema. Huh? <laughs>